Good evening, everybody. This is Larry Rodarte coming to you from the WSGW Alpha Media Studios, and we're here with another edition of Mi Gente on Air. I hope you will all join us as we talk to a group uh, that is going to be performing at La Union Civica Mexicana this Saturday. Uh, he is the lead singer of Grupo Viento, and they're out of Grand Rapids, Michigan. And so those of you who are planning on attending, you can really find out tonight who this group is, who the lead singer is, and, uh, you know, really enjoy the dance that we're going to be celebrating for St. Patty's at the Union Civica Mexicana 2715 Wadsworth. So I hope you all will uh, contribute. If you have a question or you want to make a comment, put it in the live chat room, and we'll try to address it here as we go on into the show. So please uh, join me tonight here on Mi Gente On Air. Welcome to Mi Gente On Air on 100.5 and 790 News Radio WSGW and online WSGW.com. Now, here is your host, Larry Rodarte. <laughs> Good evening and welcome to another edition of Mi Gente on Air, where we talk about Latino concerns, Latino contributions, and Latino uh, uh, culture. And tonight we're going to be talking about music, musica latina, uh, musica tejana. Uh, we have a group that is out of Grand Rapids, Michigan, and I know that uh, it's only two hours away, but sometimes we don't know, we're not always privy to knowing the groups out of the Grand Rapids area, the west side of the state, when we're over here on the east side of the state. But this group, Grupo Viento, they've been around for a long time, about 40 years that they've been celebrating in the music business. And they're going to be performing at La Union Civica Mexicana this coming weekend for the St. Patrick's Day dance. And we're very excited about it. And we're really um, happy that they're going to be with us today because it's not been a great week for them. Um, and uh, we're going to talk a little bit about that with the lead singer here. He is my guest today. His name is Roy Valdez. And uh, we want to welcome you, Roy, to Mi Gente. Buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. Thank, Thank you, so Larry, much, for... Roy, for being here. And uh, I, I hope uh, you're able to hear me. And uh, Grand Rapids isn't that far, but sometimes uh, technical issues come about. <laughs> right. But, you know, I just want to really uh, commend you for being on the show tonight. Um, as I mentioned to my audience, um, you know, it hasn't been a great week. And uh, the reason that that is, is I want you to tell my audience because of uh, the passing of your mother. So please tell us a little bit about her, a little bit about yourself um, as we, we, you know, we pay tribute to her because that's what it is about. You know, our, our mothers and our fathers, our parents, those who our ancestors, those who come before us and um, have led the way and paved the way for us to be in this uh, great country that we call America. So please, Roy, tell us a little bit about her and yourself. Buenas tardes, gente. Um, welcome to the Mi Gente Show. Uh, thank you to Mr. Larry for having me on. Uh, I'm Roy Valdez from Grupo Viento, Los Hermanos Valdez. I'm the lead vocalist. Uh, we will be at the Un La Union Civica on Saturday. Um, like uh, Larry said, yeah, it's been a tough week. Um, we're going to be celebrating my mother because she uh, unexpectedly passed away on Sunday. Uh, it's uh, It's been a rough week, the beginning of it. But oh, and and it took a lot of uh, time and thinking and uh, asking the Lord, you know, hey, I mean, what what do we do? And and I know that my mother would have told us, you know, go do what you got to do because that's you know you made an obligation. Don't worry about me. I'm good. And uh, you know, arregle and and enjoy what we did because a lot of our music was inspired by her. Uh, my mom and, and my tias, her sister, she used to be on the radio way back in the day. You know, they were they were singers. Wow. And really? Yeah, they were singers. You know, my three, my my four tias and beautiful voices. And unfortunately, she, my mom was the last one. Uh, all of them had, had passed, you know, most recently, like two years ago, her baby sister, my tia, 
the most and beautiful voice. Oh my goodness! I mean, not because they're related to me, but I mean, when you know it, you know it. It's the, um she was a woman of of uh, I'm gonna say she was a, the, a, a sort of kind of like a jack of all trades, man. Porque she could, you know, if you needed her, mommy, me puede coser la camisa or you know some rip. Hey, they were like, mom, can you fix the zipper on these pair of pants? And she was there. Uh, si necesitamos una cena, somebody eat. Uh, the guys in the band. They were like her sons. They were like her sons. I mean, when you're in this business 40 years and she, my dad was a musician también. So that's where it all, it started many years ago in San Antonio, Texas, because that's where we were born and raised in San Antonio. It's the, we ended up coming to Michigan and we continued, you know, my dad continued being a musico here in Michigan with some of the bands over here on this side of the state. And we just followed through. We just kept going. I mean, I've been, I've been a musico since I was eight years old. Uh, in, in Texas, it was totally different. You, they'd have parties back in the day. You had your, your weddings and your quinceañeras in the backyard, in the, you know, in the patio. Ahí estaba la band and, you know, la gente bailaba en la tierra and, you know, that you could see the, the chairs all around the fence of the yard, you know, as he said, as he thought, that's, that was back then, you know, once we, once we came here, it was, you know, it was totally different, but we adjusted. Este, uh, my dad was, uh, had his own band. My tios were musicos también. Uh, este, back in the Flaco Jimenez days, Tone La Rosa, back when Conjunto Music was Conjunto Music, you didn't, you, they, they didn't consider it too much Tejano. It was just Tex Max, yeah, you know, yeah. and, uh, well, you know, Fla Flaco Jimenez's birthday, I think, is today, and he turned 85. Yeah, yes, you're right. Yeah. You're correct. Yeah, you're correct. Well, the great so, Flaco and Jimenez, yeah. It, it's, and it's weird, porque, not weird, but we were going through pictures at the house uh, for my mom's service, because her services will be later on this week. And there's a picture of my dad, a few pictures of my dad with Flaco Jimenez and, and our, and our, and our group jacket that we used to have back then, you know, so that was a good memory to look back and, you know, cause my dad always talked about him as, you know, they were friends from La Musica back in the day. So yeah. it was, um, yeah, it was, uh, a, a uh, say, say going down memory lane, reminiscing and, you know, a lot of laughter and a lot of tears, you know? Yeah. Well, you know, I, I like, I, I wanted to definitely give time in that respect because our condolences uh from me hint on air and uh all of us that are going to be planning on going to the dance uh this saturday because man i don't know how how you're doing it brother but you know to lose your mother like that was the biggest thing in my uh, lifetime that you know when i lost my mom um it was very um a difficult time but right like you said she's in a better place we all know she's in a better place exactly you know, she's probably going to be looking down, smiling and saying, you know, uh, yes, I, I, I've planted my seeds and, you know, she's done some great right. job in the yeah. music industry. So it, yeah, it, our, it's, it, it's never easy, you know, it's never easy, but we know what she would have told us, you know, mm -hmm. uh, do what you do, what you do. You're already scheduled, mijo, you know, and and you're obligated and that's what you do, you know. Yeah. And I, I want my audience to know that. um Roy, uh, or Gabe called me on, uh, Gabriel Cavazos. He called uh -huh. me on Sunday. Yeah, booking, Sunday our booking said, manager. Yeah. He said, I, he, th I think we're going to have to cancel. And he told me, uh, you know, the news and I just said, okay, I totally understand that. And so, um, we, uh, had to scramble and I just right. want to mention, you know, that, uh, Champ Garcia from Saginaw, one of our local musicos and, uh, uh, -huh. uh Tomas Salazar from, uh, Pania Grupo, um, Ilusion. Ilusion. They, they were ready to step in. Um, they were ready to step in. Uh, I appreciate I, that. Yeah. Yeah. And so like, you know, it's, it's, it's great that, you know, we can all work together for the sake of, of the people and the music and our culture. And then, exactly. uh, Gabe called me this morning and says, uh, no, we changed our mind. We, if you can, and we, we, we We'd love to still perform and i said absolutely and uh so you know we're so grateful and commend you guys for you know stepping up to the plate at this difficult well, time it, it's it's all about respect and that's what you know how we were raised you know you 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 made a you made an agreement an obligation and we're going to fulfill it you know it's because that's what she would have wanted us to do not just to not to sit back and just you know, be, uh, sad and, you know, it, I'm, I'm sad, but at the same time, I'm happy porque ya sé para donde fue, you know, yeah. Yeah. and, uh, and so the, the tears ain't done yet, but, you know, we'll, 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 uh, we'll get through it because that's, that's how we were raised. You know, mom always said, you know, Hey, 
Comple completan, completan lo que, lo que digan, you know, si hacen una promesa, boom, stick to it, you know, because that's what the people are going to remember, you know, um, I've always said, you know, you can do, you can do a thousand good things and a few bad, but the people are going to remember the bad as opposed to the good. So we, we didn't want to let, we didn't want to let the raza down. We didn't, you know, we, we love what we do. Um, Saginaw, it's been a while since we've been there. Besides the fiesta, which was, you know, a couple years ago, but back in the day, I used to play a lot over there in Saginaw. I used to play with another band out of, uh, out of Grand Rapids before we got together. What este, was that band called? That was Santo Rincones y sus Latinos. Way back, I mean, and that was también a family-oriented band. There was three, three brothers and, and, and the dad. So he was like my second father because my dad passed away about oh my goodness 35 years ago so you know he was he, 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 i stuck with him you know when and, and actually my dad began with him uh primero playing drums because i play drums besides do lead vocals you know but uh, my brother is my drummer now so right now i think the last time i played drums and i did a four-hour show my goodness no me podía mover el siguiente día I was all sore because that's how long it had been since I'd done a full show on drums. Wow. And, um, but yeah. we, we got, I got through it. Um, but like I said, yeah, it's the Saginaw. We're, we're, we're excited to be over there. You know, we want, we want to, we want the rest of to come out and have a good time because we, we like to have a good time. You know? Well, I, wa I want to give a shout out to Corina uh, Salinas and Lansing because uh -huh. she's the one that recommended you guys uh, for Saginaw. Um, good lady, so, beautiful person. Back. Yeah. And so, you know, you know, we try, we try to give everybody a chance to come yeah. you know, perform. Yeah. Um, the Civica dances are really uh, well known and, and they're usually well attended and we have a lot of fun and right. you got some great food there as well. So like, it's, it's just an all around uh, good time. And uh, I think you'll see that this weekend as well. Uh, yeah, and, we're, 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 we're excited. You know, um, like I said, it's, it's going to be a, 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 a sad moment, but at the same time, happy. You know, and do what we do, what we love to do. You know. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, you 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 mentioned your tias, you mentioned your father. I mean, it, it goes hand in hand. Uh, you know, generational these music uh, musicians and stuff. And now you did tell me before, um, your parents had seven children. Um, and somebody else is in the band from your family, isn't there? Or are you the only one that's uh, musically inclined like them? Well, me and my brother, there was three of us, but we lost one of our brothers uh, oh. some years ago. He was one of our vocal vocals. Um, the band, it, <laughs> the, the, the nieces and nephews, they're musically inclined. Wow. They're musically inclined. They, they follow us where we go sometimes. Last week, uh, we were at, um, at the casino, Gun Lake Casino, along with, uh, with uh, Los Hermanos Salazar, and yeah, Grupo Ilusión. Yes, and yes, man, they, they put on a they put on a, a heck of a show, man. They put on what a heck of a show. A crowd you guys had there too. That was awesome. That the uh, Denver, yeah, Casino. yeah. That that was that just gives you more energy. And I must, you know, you you, you want and you and you're 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 not happy when the hour and a half goes by and man, we got to get off stage, give the other guys a chance. I wanted to go back. You know, it would have been nice to go back and forth. You know, with he was. It was a good show. It was a good night. I mean, standing room only. Uh, you can't ask for something. You can't ask for anything better. Yeah, yeah. Now, um, where is Gun Lake Casino? I'm not. Gun Lake Casino is south of Grand Rapids, about oh no, thirty miles, if that, twenty miles out uh in the Wayland Wayland uh, area Wayland Michigan area yeah, yeah. yeah and they got a they got a club out there if I'm not mistaken it's 313 club and they do a Latino night like cada dos dos or tres meses they do a Latino night now it's not always Tejano you know it could be uh uh Puerto Ricano, Cubano uh, you know just different styles of of uh musica uh Latina you know, and, and usually it's two bands that they have out there, and they always have a good crowd. So they're they're, they're doing a good thing over here for la comunidad. Um, and there's there's quite a few there's quite a few bands, you know, in, in Grand Rapids. Just uh, not just us, you know. You got los Estrellas de Oro, you know, Eliberto Contreras, my compadre, Eliberto Contreras yeah. Jr. And we're we're familiar with him. He's played at the Civica, and I noticed that he plays with you sometimes as well. Yeah, he'll be playing. He'll be playing. He'll be joining us Saturday on accordion. Yeah, oh, he will. Right. Yeah. He's a good, he's a friend of mine. And, and for those in the audience that, um, he said, Alberto, what was Alberto his last Contreras name? Jr. 
Contreras. See, now, Contreras. I, don't, I don't know him as that. I know him as Junior. And yeah, so Junior. Like, yeah, we call him Junior. We don't call him Eliberto. Yeah, only, that's only when we're doing the introduction or something like that. But he's a beautiful, yeah. beautiful person. A heck, heck of a musician, man. You know, yes, and, and the and guys. Toro, Toro, who, was, who was on our show here as well. Toro, he's from Saginaw. And um, he uh, plays with uh, his band, Junior's band. And I'm sure uh, Toro will be Oh, here yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Yep. 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 He's with the Estelas de Oro. Yeah, because they they just got done doing a tour down in Texas uh, not too long ago. They were down there, did some interviews on the radio down there. But uh, that's a good bunch of musicians, man. I mean, uh, I got to give it to Saginaw. Saginaw is uh, it, it's it's a gold mine. Ahí con músicos. They got a lot of talent in this state, especially in, in this area of Saginaw. Like I said, um, uh, it's the Frank Lopez will be joining us on guitar because our our guitar player won't be able to make it uh, due to his uh and stuff like that you know we still got to work even though we do this as a side hustle as they call it you know we people got jobs well the guys got jobs i'm retired so i got lucky a little i got lucky yeah well frank lopez uh we're, we're all familiar with him as well he's part of uh los g notes here in uh -huh. los g notes area. Yeah. yes we had them for our valentine's dance along with champ garcia's band and man they put on a really good show and uh the civica was rocking so um we're so grateful to the these musicians who keep up the tradition of oh uh, yeah oh music. yeah and you know i and it's probably you probably have the similar story of many of them that their parents came you know from tejas they lived in tejas and they came up to work uh, either the fields or in the plants here in Michigan right. and we decided to stay and um you're here and that's why i think that there is such a great you know uh representation of the the hano genre conjunto norteño here right. in the Michigan area, because I think, really, honestly, I think the Midwest has some of the great musicians in that in those genres. Really, top top of the line, you know. And the best part about it is that a lot of them, and you know, I don't know if people know, but it, it, a lot of them are family oriented. You know, son hermanos, primos, you know, and sobrinos that are playing in the band. You know, might have a different last name, but you know, they could be blood, and that's that's the way we treat our guys in the band, porque familia. You know, it's the we all take care of each other. We all love each other as, as brothers. And that's the thing. That's how it has to be. Um, the guys that there wouldn't be no us, no Grupo Viento without the guys behind us. You know, that that's just the honest God's truth. You know, but we are because we are who we are because of them. You know, and they, they put they put in 110, 120 every every Saturday night, every weekend they were booked or whatever, including ourselves, you know, it's that and we, we we just we're just so appreciative of them because the experience that comes behind like the guitar player that won't be able to be with us is his name is mike martinez mike martinez used to play guitar for charisma band and him and his brothers and his dad back in the day they had their own wow. yeah their own uh group of uh escorpion los hermanos martinez they changed names a few times those lo the mighty lowriders that's who they wow best known. You're, you're say, you just said three bands that i remember from back in the day like, yeah, and that's I mean, all the, and, and that's the same guys the same family oh, you know yeah, and now they're the sobrinos 80s, right? we're talking the 80s and 90s when those yeah bands and now their sobrinos got their own band you know out of uh fenville still martinez you know so they've kept their tradition going i mean you know it, it's just the way it is our bass player our bass player his he's been with us oh man from the beginning it's the mr leo mendoza the third uh out of lansing he's uh been with us since oh almost 35 years and his jefito his dad used to play guitar with us but uh, he since passed away so leo uh, the third moved to guitar and we brought in leo's son leo mendoza the fourth wow yeah so we kept it a family thing you know it's just sorry to say and and que, que, que descansen paz. he ended up his son ended up passing away tambien so a few years back so it's it, it the whole family has the whole family as a band has gone through something that's as familiar to everybody you know and i mean it, it happens it's just a part of life you know yeah, nobody, nobody can escape that nobody can no uh -uh. no not, 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 not it, it, it's it's gonna happen sooner or later we just don't know when you know yeah. it's yeah. there well you know but, we we i noticed uh that just this week uh there was a release of a song uh by the great um Juve Aldaco, 
who is like 92, 93 uh -huh. years old and yeah. you know, was a musician way back in the day pr oh, prior yeah. to the 80s. And it's just amazing to me the legacy that he has with his uh, sons and grandsons and uh, Grupo Aldarco. Oh, yeah. Um, they've been around forever before, uh, the, before the seven. Very musicians. I mean, so it's just amazing that he's still writing songs and songs are being released, um, with, yeah. with Don Julio El Daco. <laughs> and we just got done, uh, a few months back recording one of his originals, oh, uh, one really? of his, yeah. Uh, El Amorcito Que Yo Soñé is called, it just came out under Los Hermanos Valdez. You know, and Danny was Daniel Daco was our producer, our producer and, and uh, sound engineer. And he he I mean, he's phenomenal. Uh, I mean, I can't I don't have enough words to describe and thank him. I mean, for for giving us the opportunity to record one of his dad's original songs. And I mean, the lyrics are just phenomenal. They're good. They're beautiful. It's the hopefully we'll hear it. We're going to hear it on Saturday night. We're going to we're going to have it for you on Saturday night. Oh, so that's will be ready. So we please announce it so we know that that's from Juve. He's a friend of ours at the Union Civica Mexicana. He's a friend of mine. And when I say that, I'm talking about that uh, Don Junio, Julio El Daco, he sits there and texts me on Messenger. And he says, hey, Larry, I got a new song. And he'll send me a, you know, and I'm like, right. <laughs> wow, 92. Oh, I just, I hit the thing and my camera fell down here. <laughs> But uh, that's what happens on, on yeah. live, uh, live streaming here. But uh, no, he's yeah, a, he's a, he's a good there, guy. Matt, my producer Matt here, Lester's, has to put up with my antics here in the studio. But um, I'm back, and uh, <laughs> you know, we're, we're just so appreciative of uh, that you guys are coming, and we're excited. And uh, the Civica All Stars, we're preparing for the yeah, dance. yeah, some beautiful decorations Carru in the hall. Yeah. And we're going to be cooking on Saturday for the gente. And, uh, you know, they're going to be really, uh, it's going to be really nice um, to have that combination of music, food, decorations, and camaraderie oh, yeah. of people. So. It's all about having a good time and, and, and the family atmosphere that, you know, that we like to have. And, and, and the, estilo, the style that we have, you know, is, is uh, you're going to hear the old school Tejano music and you're going to hear the new school. You know, uh, a little, a little of everything, you know, it's not all cumbias, you know, we, we mix it up through the night. It's the, like I said, you might end up hearing, uh, uh, Puño de Tierra from, from way back in the day. And then boom, we'll throw in some Jay Perez or, a a, a, a mass song or something like that. Or one of my favorites, Mr. Jesse Serata, que Dios lo tenga en el cielo. You know, we, we do some of his music también. So we, we mix it up a little bit for, for everybody, guapangos, you know, and just to, Keep the old school, también, keep them involved. Porque, you know, it, it's getting hard. This business is getting harder and harder. You know, we want the young people to keep keep it keep it going for their kids. You yeah. know, porque I remember, I mean, like I said, I've played at the Union Civica many years ago. And I remember, I mean, they would treat us like royalty. I mean, we had, we'd stay at the night and next day, the promoter, whoever had hired us, pick us up and ahí vamos a comer and try the Mexican restaurants. And remember by the time I would get back to Grand Rapids, I didn't want nothing to do with a wet burrito or a taco until the following day, of course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's, it's, uh, I'm, I'm, we're excited. We're excited to get to Saginaw. It's the, uh, we're, I'm going to spend the night there that night. Uh, porque I want to try some of the, I'm always seeing the Mexican restaurants I in Saginaw. So I'm going to, I want to, me and the wife are going to try to get to one of them or two of them on, on Sundays, con el favor de Dios, you know. Uh, that, that's awesome. That's awesome. You know, when we had Michael Salgado, uh, I think we're Cinco de Mayo, um, uh -huh. 2009. Um, and, uh, I remember gave a great performance. He actually participated in the parade. We, we love Michael Salgado in Saginaw. And, uh, I remember him saying um, the next day, you know, do you, you know, we, we were ready to take him out to a restaurant, you know, and, and, right. the band and all. he says, no, but he says, uh, do you have anybody here from San Antonio? And I says, yeah, we actually do. He goes, I says, why, why do you ask? He says, I'd, I'd love to be able to have a sit down homemade meal, you know, at, 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 and I happen to have my madrina, Mary R Rodriguez, uh -huh. uh, phenomenal cook one of the the phenomenal cooks that i consider and uh she said they sat down at her table and she fed them all and they loved it with homemade tortillas. oh my goodness <laughs> and that's something, it, but there's nothing like a good home cooked meal when you're when you're way away from home <laughs> yeah yeah and her mother was a great cook too and she was still living and she was in her 90s still cooking and um wow she was, she was living in san antonio so she learned from that the is, best that, that's awesome 
That's we're awesome. gonna come back. We're gonna talk more about the musical scene in in, uh, in Tejano and Norteño and Banda uh, with Roy Valdez here from Grupo Viento. So please, no te vayas. We'll be right back here on Mi Gente on Air. All right. So thank you, everybody who's streaming. And we got a lot of people in the room and we got a lot of comments. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to get to all of them, but um, we'll try to incorporate some into the show. But, um, man, yeah, good good job, Roy. Thanks for giving us all that background information. No I problem. Know that back in the day you were, you were playing at the Union Civica Mexicana. It had to be under one of our past presidents, Maria Vela. Um, that was a long time ago. Yeah. 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 So, like, um, you know, we uh, we're I'm happy to hear that, you know, there's been that tradition of treating our artists so good and you know and uh you know that the civica was known for his dances in the past oh yeah there was yeah. a long period of time where we didn't have dances and uh i had a few of the members who says you know we need to bring the dances back we need the the sunday tariadas and you know and i said well right. oh no you know and 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 then finally i said yeah let's do it and um they've been very successful and you know, it, it gives the opportunity for the musicos in the in the Midwest here, uh, even in, you know, states like Toledo, the bands from Toledo that come in Adrian, Michigan, and they come uh -huh. that opportunity to showcase their talent and uh, give the music to the people. So, you know, it's all working out pretty good. And, um, you know, like I said, we're, we're looking forward to having you here um, this coming Saturday. I do want to read, uh, you know, that there are um, some comments of course um my deepest condolences to you and your family from gloria thank Lumsden. you uh livia makalu she said boy these names uh my deepest condolences um and so you know they are aware and i'm glad that they um know that because you know when i try to keep it under low key because i didn't want the word to get out that we were gonna have to either cancel the dance or if we did find a replacement you know right uh, but somehow you know the word gets out and uh you know so i'm I was just so happy that we weren't we didn't make any f official announcement or do a different fly or anything like that but, right um, right it's uh, there i uh it, it took a whole day which was yesterday and that i thought about it and thought about it and i was conflicted but then fiate i got a call from one of my primas out of california and she talked to me and she you know she's the one that said you know what your mom would have wanted you to keep doing what you're doing don't stop for me yeah do what you do what you do what you got to do mijo. you know yeah. and, and uh and that that right there when she told me that and and it it solidified the the fact that Sarske we're going through it so as soon as i got done uh talking to her i picked up i picked up and dialed my my brother and make it a go make it happen you know uh give him a call back stay Sarske we're ready yeah we're good to go you know I, well like it, i said it's very it's very commendable of you guys uh to do that and we're and we're happy and uh we're gonna show you all the love saginaw can uh you know oh, yeah. in, this, in this weekend so all right, we're we're gonna go back into the show now. Uh, right. We got another twenty four minutes. If you got comments or questions, I know there's a few on here, and I will try to read them in, into the show. Uh, but we're gonna go back into the show. What here, mi gente on air. Listening to Mi Gente on Air on WSGW. Welcome back. Welcome back, Mi Gente. Thank you for being with me here on another edition of Mi Gente on Air. This is our fourth year here in the studios of Alpha Media, and I can't believe this is our fourth year because it just seems like we just started this show, and yet we've been through the years able to showcase so much of the, of the artists, uh, music artists, or even culinary artists, uh, different um, genres that we have had here. And uh, last year we did have uh, a real nice um, segment of shows that featured the likes of those uh, Tejano artists that came from Texas for our Cinco de Mayo. We had Bobby Polido and Stephanie Montiel and Gary Hobbs in uh, the fourth one. Um, oh, Eddie Gonzalez. I mean, so we really had a nice show and, 
I just want to announce as uh, before we go back into talking with uh, Roy uh, that Elida Inivante, Elida Reina Inivante from Edinburgh, Texas is coming for the 45th annual Cinco de Mayo of Saginaw. We're really excited about having her on May 4th, 2024 at the Jolt Credit Union Event Park. And then she will be performing later in the evening for a, a dance, a baile, uh, at the Volt here in Saginaw. So two performances in Saginaw coming up. And we've got some major announcements coming up as well uh, soon for the uh, 45th annual Cinco de Mayo uh, parade and concert. We're hoping that um, she's going to actually be in the parade as well. Wouldn't that be awesome? So um, the pre-Cinco uh, de Mayo events is the Valentine dance as well as the St. Patty's Day dance. And this weekend, Grupo Viento from Grand Rapids, Michigan is going to be in the house and they're going to give us a great performance. Uh, I saw some of their video from the casino, the Gunlight Casino that they did two weeks ago with Grupo Ilusión as well. And then I've seen you, Roy, perform Volver, Volver, a different version. Right. Uh, we're all used to. Tell us a little bit about that. That uh, we 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 like to uh, experiment with songs. You know, it, it might be a it might be a bolero, but you know what? I like to put a little a little kick to it, put a little jalapeno in it, and let's huh. change it up to uh, we do it cumbia style, yeah, as opposed to the slow romantic. You know that people are used to from way back in the day, because that's what it was. You know, mariachi song, and uh, we take them and we just kind of. Decipher them and vamonos de dissect them and let's change it up and see what we come up with and so far so good You know and and that's not the only song that we do we do that It could be a bolero and we change it up to a ranchera or a cumbia and you know or change the cumbia to a bolero You know, I mean, it just depends on how I'm feeling on that day, you know, as them um, But it's fun. It's fun doing that and people are like, you know, give you that look like oh, I remember that song but differently you know? yeah. So, you know that they, they 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 remember the song when they remember it differently. You know, I remember that used to be a slow song, and but you guys do it, you know, this way, cumbia. And I say, yeah, we we've changed up a few a few things, you know, as the um that and and that's what gives it gives it credibility as the as far as us as musicos that you know we're we're there to make the people happy. And yeah, well, you're, it, it, you're it, really doing that. I've seen I see the videos. If you want to see Grupo. Viento, you can go on YouTube uh, videos. Um, yeah, and, and you're you're the lead singer. How long have you been the lead singer? Is that something that you, you mentioned? <laughs> you're a drum, drummer, but you how many years? Yeah, before when before we got the band together, like I said, I was a drummer and I did vocals for wow. at the same time. And you know, I used to have musicos. Well, when I went to that night that I said that I played drums for the first time, and I don't know how many years that it was. Uh, I was helping a band out in up north, and uh, and they wanted a song, but they didn't know the song. And I told them, I said, well, I know the song. And, you know, it was a, it was a, a mujer casada, por una mujer casada. And they didn't know it and they knew how to play it, but they didn't know the words. So the guy says, well, you're going to sing it? I said, yeah. And he's like, well, who's going to play drums? I said, well, I'm going to play drums. <laughs> I'm going to play it and sing. And they had never saw that before. And I'm like, oh, don't worry. I said, we'll, we'll get through this. You know, we'll, if the people, you know, if we know it and I knew it, I just happened to know it. And they're like, oh, OK, well, shoot, let's go for it. And sure enough, you know, it's then uh, once we got the band together, I became that was. And like I said, 40 years ago, um, I became the, the lead vocalist. So you know, and my brother, like my brother, who's my drummer old. now, and my older brother, they were my segunda and my tercera, you know, because yeah. we were, we're three part harmony. So we're talking and I've been doing it uh, ever since 40 years. I mean, this is our four, this year in June will be our 40th year. That's when we're celebrating because it was 40, 40 Father's Days ago. <laughs> That's when we our first tocado was in on Father's Day in Owasso, Michigan. <laughs> That's where we that yeah, oh, oh, Oasso, Michigan. If you can believe that, actually, Miento, Miento, it was in Ovid, the little town before Owasso. <laughs> oh <my laughs> so if God, you can believe that, that yeah, and uh, yeah. and we made the vine just for the heck of it, just to see what we would the crowd because there's a lot of Mexicanos uh, in that area, you know, and también my my uh, my brother was uh, his family, he married into a familia, la familia Ramirez out of Owasso, so. You know, they had they, there was a lot of lot of Latino, a lot of Mexicano, Tejano, you know, back in that day. It's the, but 
we uh we've been we i've been keep going you know and the, uh, as long as uh the man upstairs me da licencia and and you know and i take care of my vocal cords and you know the following day after a show i don't i don't sound like i sound now i sound a little bit like i'm i got a sore throat and you know but because we i give it my all i give it my all in all in all honesty i give it 120 on vocals you know all of us do well, that's what I, I, I want to say to my audience out there, uh, as well as to those that may be looking to uh, come to a great performing out to the Union Civica this Saturday. Please. Uh, this band has uh, got uh, talent. They've got the experience 40 years under their belt. And uh, that's just, you know, really phenomenal. We're talking 1984, if anybody remembers that year. <laughs> I, I surely do. It was a great time, the 80s, you know. Uh, but I, I want to just mention that, you know, I have seen, um, you know, locally Saginaw has like Champ Garcia and I've seen how he has really evolved into a great singer. You know, when he when he performs, I see Gary Lopez, right. um, his father, uh, as well as Gary Lopez, uh, the young man who oh, yeah. is singing now. Um, when I remember when he first started out and I was like, oh, I don't know if this is going to be good, but, you know. We had to perform two weeks ago at the or Valentine's Dance at the Civica, and he has evolved into a really good singer as well. So, you know, to those, uh, you know, kudos to those who are in the music industry who step up to the plate and they are a lead singer. Oh, yeah. because that, that is not easy, you know, uh, and I, I really uh, commend you as well because I've seen your performances and I've used them uh, in a promo video, and I'm like, man, this guy's really out there and can really uh, sing a tune, you know. So I appreciate that. Thank you for uh, 40 years in the band and being the leader of the band by being a, you know, the singer. So congratulations. I appreciate that. Yeah, we've hung in there throughout the years, but you know, um, the you were just mentioning the bands out there in Saginaw, and man, yeah, I, I've kept an eye on them, and you know, as we as we go over the years, you you see them just transform into awesome just awesome musicos and they are they are i mean champ uh frank lopez uh the g notes it's the mr frankie garcia rodriguez. even frankie rodriguez i mean he's got such a unique sound and voice um everybody uh loves him frank we need you to come out and uh sing some more and uh also junior you know junior who we were talking about from grand rapids earlier uh -huh. has a very unique way of singing a yeah he's know, got his own he's got his own style yeah, he sure does. And, uh, you know, really, really appreciate what we have here in the Midwest with the musicals, because uh, there's a lot, like we said earlier, a lot, a lot of talent. And, uh, you know, it's it's really important that, as you said, um, that we teach the younger people, the younger generation about our music. And that's what I want to talk with you now about, Roy, is, uh, you know, because you're from the west side of the state and uh -huh. we are here in Saginaw. And right now, you know, um, what's what's really been very popular um, with the younger people is the Mexican regional music that, you know, Peso Pluma and uh, some of the uh, La Frontera. Right. You know, they, they've had these huge um, successful careers right now in 2023, 2024. And, uh, you know, uh, the song uh, that La Frontera put out with Bad Bunny and all that stuff. And tell me a little bit about how that is affecting us here in michigan and and i want to set this up by saying you know uh at the cinco de mayo we have typically always had the tejano uh genre of music and musicians and we've been very lucky to have tejano royalty like michael selgado right. Stephanie, you know ellie the reina's coming we've we've had chris perez selena's husband you know we've had some really good uh texas top tier artists in the saginaw cinco de mayo right. talking in the last five years so I want to know, as we, you know, we are getting requests from some of the younger people, you know, we, they want to hear some of the more, uh, I guess, Mexican regional banda musicians. And it's like a clash almost. And, and I think I I think yeah. you understand it because, you know, we're yeah. coming from the same generation. Tell me about your thoughts about it all and uh, what insight it, you can give us. You know, it's um, it's 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 taken off. The, the banda, la bachata, you know, merengue, all that, that style, it's taken off a lot, especially over here on our side of the state. Um, it, it, it's, we don't want to see Tejano music die off, but at the same time, you know, I mean, you, you got to give, you got to open the doors for, for this other style of music that's coming because the people want it. You know, the young, the younger generation is, 
is there for it. They're the ones, you know, buying the the CDs and you know and or whatever. It's the, it's not my style of music, pero sabes que I don't I don't down it. I don't I don't degrade it porque if I was a promoter and and I knew where the the where you the money maker is, sabes que why not? I mean, it, it it just it just depends, you know. I mean, Grand Rapids has gone from Tejano, you know, over the years to slowly, gradually graduating to banda and 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 you know and musica uh, cumbialera, you know. I mean, the fiestas. If you see the fiestas in our region over here, the fiestas mexicanas back in the day, they were nothing but Tejano music and musicians and bands, and and the Tejano the Tejano raza would come out. Well, you know, there's still Tejanos, pero a lot of a lot of people moved into the area, you know, that that are from Mexico and 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 Guatemala and and you know Puerto Rico and all that, all the other different Latin countries, y, and they brought their style with them, you know. Y ahorita it's it's a big money maker, you know, it's a big money maker. Back in the day, there was three three or four Tejano bars in Grand Rapids. You, sorry to say, you don't find them no more. You know, it's the there is the bars, but they're catering to the to the banda music to the bachata you know because that's the younger generation is asking for that um it it's i don't want it to die i want the you know uh people to you know let, let's keep it in our gen let's keep the young people involved in it you know it's them uh my kids they love the hano music but you throw on a little bachata and man they también they go they you know they they like it so yeah. it's it's a it's a toss up. It's just a toss up, you know. I mean, um, I grew up Tejano, so that and like the east side of the state has more more Tejano people than I I think than our side as as, as far as the Tejano music goes. You know the violins, and you know you guys are always making. I always see the posters and on Facebook, you know. So there's always a big there's a big um. There's still Tejano's not going anywhere. You know, it's not going anywhere. Um, it's just uh. How we played last week, if I'm mistaken, I think uh, Intocable was uh, in Grand Rapids at the uh, at the uh, one of the the Grand Grand Center there in Grand Rapids downtown. It wasn't a dancing uh, show; it was a show where you know you sit sit back and you know they played in the arena and no you know there was no dance floor, but uh, they had a full house. You know, yeah. I don't know how if Intocable was headed over to you guys over there on that side of the state. Uh, that oh they you know they put on a heck of a show and and that was good that was the day after the casino so people were ready they 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 were there's a lot of young promoters over here on this side of the state um we like going the holland holland did holland's got a big following of musica tejana i mean just huge they love it over there you know mr i'm pretty sure you know mr johnny vasquez and you know he has a and tejano sound they have a big following también we we always have a good a good turnout i am holland también you know because we still have some of the old school tejanos that want to hear you know old school tejano music and tejano music not so much for you you can tell on the look on their faces when you know they start throwing their bachata or you know banda music on and they're like well you know that's not our style well yeah not our style either the the but you got you got to cater to everybody sometimes you know you try to cater to everybody well so it's hard roy i want to take a second real quick um i don't know if you're sitting in a room where the the sun was shining uh because gradually yeah. you've gotten a lot darker well actually that's what i, I was going to yeah. turn the light on yeah turn, go turn the light on so we can see you again because i can't see you now but you know what one of the one of the things that i you know the the intocable concert you know was sold out 2500 um people there and you know truly that they are um a successful tejano group they started out as tejano if you remember back in the day i remember at the tejano yeah. music awards seeing them yeah. back in 1998 down in texas and they still hadn't even crossed into that mexican regional genre of going into right. Mexican stuff. they were still right tejano. so you know they're, they're this that's kind of the story what we're talking about what's happening well you know like, like you mentioned it's the you know frontera you know i mean they they went I mean, they skyrocketed to the top, you know, gracias a Dios, Peso Pluma, another one that's, you know, making some good noise out there, you know, I mean, for for his style, yeah. you know, uh, for his style of music now, necessarily not me, but, you know, that that's that doesn't mean anything, it's there, you know, because like I said, there, there's a new generation, you know, I just hope that the, the young people don't give up on, on, on our Tejano roots, you know, porque it, it, once they give up on it, 
you know, we, we, we're, we're left with Sesky. We're still trying to, let's push it. Let's push it, you know, to keep it alive. And there, there's a lot of Tejano bands, a lot of Tejano guys over here, musicos and stuff like that, you know, that, um, uh, uh, are, are coming up in the ranks. You know, right now there's a new band out of, uh, Fenville, uh, Grupo Fierro, you know, um, and they're, they're, they're jamming. They do their conjunto style, you know, uh, uh, and they're coming up. Mr. Elias Rodriguez is their lead vocalist, and he he's a young cat, young guy. So I'm trying to mentor him a little bit, you know, on on as far as stage okay. presence and doing what you gotta do. What did you what you say their name was? La Furia, La La uh, Fierro, Fierro. Okay, yeah. Because yeah. I, I saw I saw a band in Lansing um, that um, they were uh, Mexican regional, um, and they were in in Lansing just this last weekend. Um, at the El Dorado. At the, was it at the at the El Dorado Center? Yes, yes. Y yeah, I know, I know who you're talking about. That you see that style of music right there is. It, I don't know how the Viley how the Viley got. You know, if they if they had a good crowd. You know, but they they got a different style of musica mexicana. You know, totally different. You know, than I've seen I've seen him perform. As a matter of fact, the the gentleman that runs that band, he's the one that deals uh, at the Gunley Casino for the Latino nights. You know, to hire the bands in you know well, uh yeah, they, they, they did a really really nice job definitely a different style of music uh, yeah. i enjoyed it yeah and and then they had a break right and in the break in the music all of a sudden they they were playing uh ricardo castellon and la diferencia back in the day <laughs> in the 90s and i'm like wow where did that come from after right. all of that? <laughs> now that, that's a shocker because i i wouldn't i, I wasn't expecting for you to say they're playing ricardo castellon in la diferencia but that's way tejano as opposed to the style that they play you yes. know and his name his name is uh luis calderon that's who it is yes, yes. and uh i uh i enjoyed it i really enjoyed it and um it, you know you definitely saw also you know uh, a different crowd they they weren't you know uh third fourth generation tejanos they were more right. you know first generation of those who have you know recently come from mexico to the area so it's uh you know it's definitely a changing of time i think we've yeah we've seen that in the past and all but like you said um in like with peso pluma and some of the other artists that in 2023 really hit and they shot up to the charts of billboard you know who would have thought billboard even uh right you know, it, it really is making a, a difference on an international level not just in say uh mexico or in the united states but internationally um you know these these artists are making gr a great impact and for to see them even on um you know the late night shows um la frontera and uh, you know that's really something who do you got there this is my grandson this is one of my grandsons one of the little ones this is uh case victor say hi hi, hi. Hola. <laughs> how are you yeah. <laughs> so he's, he's he's five years old up in when you got no baseball practice and stuff like that so but uh, um you know it, it i just lo i just love that you know that um the the style is still here you know um we we need to uh support each other as far as musicals and bands and stuff and and we do we try to help you know if somebody calls us to say so it's getting, you know, Something happened like for us, you know, I mean, we lost our mom. We've had that before. Hey, can we're doing a benefit? Can you get Sarasca? We've always been there. We've always been there for church festivals, whatever the case may be, the celebration. It's that we try to help whoever we can. Um, our little tour started a couple of weeks ago, actually in Lansing at the at the El Dorado Event Center. And uh, we got a very we're we're blessed because we got a very busy schedule right now. It'll be Saginaw this weekend. Uh, the following weekend, we're in uh, Grand Rapids. I got, and then we're heading to uh, Hammond, Indiana. Then we're coming wow. back to for another uh, gig in in uh, Grand Rapids, in Iowa. Then we're heading back to the Saginaw area sometime in uh, June, if I'm not mistaken. There's a fiesta out there. I have to look at my books, but uh, there's a fiesta sometime in June, I think, or July, maybe. But uh, yeah, in Sa yeah. So we 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 try to support everybody i mean if you can you can you know and we just we're thankful and we're and for the guys like i said the guys that back off and i want to name off our, our lineup on our band to give them their credit because like i said on 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 keyboards we have mr uh mike 
Medina out of Lansing. You know, he he's been a he's been a musico that's jammed with oh my goodness with just about everybody. He's helped out. He used to have his own band también back in the day. But as Mike Medina on keyboards on uh, on guitar, we got Mr. Mike Martinez out of uh, Holland, Michigan. Like I said earlier, he's the uh, Grupo Scorpion, the Mighty Lowriders, Los Hermanos Martinez. That's you know. That's him. On bass, we have Mr. Uh, Leo Mendoza the third. He's like I said, he's been with us, and and all these guys are all versatile. Versatile. Uh, we have on uh, on accordion, like I mentioned, Mr. Junior Contreras. You know, um, and then on percussion, another another longtime friend of ours, that, and his his dad también música from way back in the day. That uh, was uh, Los Pochos from way back in the day. Uh, Mr. Xavier Garcia, and then my brother on my brother on drums, Ray Valdez, singer, and then myself, you know, Roy Valdez. Este, uh, like I said before, without the without these guys' backup, it'd be very difficult. We are who we are because of them, you know, and and, and I always give them the 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 credit because they deserve it, you know, and they they've hung in there and just just that just that crowd of guys. We're looking at over a hundred years of uh, musical experience, you know, wow. if not more, you know, and they all bring something to the, they all bring something to the table, you know, they all bring something to the table. And well, you know, you're definitely, definitely known uh, throughout the uh, musical community because I've got tons of them on here, like Marty Garza, the singer, uh, uh -huh. he says Midwest proud. He's uh, got, um, you know, the he's got a new one coming out too. New, that's what I was trying to say. Uh, we've got yeah. um, Gabriel Cavazos, who is your oh, yeah. he's, our, he's our, uh, booking, our booking manager. Yep. Booking manager. Yeah, he says, uh, uh, in my store, cold Steve Austin voice, and that's the bottom line. <laughs> uh, but we also, <laughs> you know, we have uh, also um, Tommy from Grupo Ilusión. He's in the room uh, saying, uh, checking in. Uh, what's up, guys? We got uh, Roy Ray from Los Estrellas de Oro. Now, this is Ray. You're doing a great job. We got Jerry Cruz, who's sending prayers uh, from Jerry Cruz. Thank you. I band. appreciate that. Um, and, uh, you know, we got a lot a lot of comments. I couldn't get to everybody tonight, but I do want to right. mention if my producer can put up on the screen the comment from uh, Angela Blanco. She is um, the president of La Union Civica. She says, God bless you all. Sending condolences Thank and you. prayers. Your mother is Thank smiling you. already. She's done a great job raising great men. Respect, Thank faith, you. and honor. Can't wait to hear you jam. We're so, ready. We're ready. We're ready to. Best. Yes. We're, we're ready to set the floor on fire in, in Saginaw. All right. All right. Well, thank you so much, Mr. Roy Valdez. It was a we'll pleasure. see you Saturday. We, 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 our prayers are with you in the band. And uh, thank you, everybody. Uh, tickets will be on sale at the door if you get there before 9 p.m. It's uh, $15, $20 afterwards. And I want to just thank uh, Roy for being on the show tonight. And thank you all for tuning in to another Larry. edition of Mi Gente on Air. Muchísimas thank gracias. you, brother. Adios. I appreciate you. We'll see you in Saginaw, Raza. Get ready for a good show. All right, everybody. Great show tonight. Uh, I felt the energy, you know, already. And uh, it's really nice to see, uh, you know, and have a musician like Roy who's seasoned uh, 40 years. That's that's wonderful. And uh, I hope you will all encourage uh, people to watch this show. Uh, the stream, the live stream will be on all week leading up to the dance on Saturday. We're going to do some more promos as well. And so, um, you know, this is what it's about. This is why we do this show, so that we're at the table and we've got a voice and we're going to talk about those Latino culture concerns and culture. That's what I always say and contributions. Excuse me. So thank you again, Roy. Any last words? Be ready. Be ready. Be ready. We're, we're, we're coming for you. We're, we're just we're excited to get there. We're excited to be and just present represent everybody, you know, and we want to say thank you to each and every one of you for your prayers and condolences. We really appreciate it uh, from the bottom of our heart. I will let the rest of the band know and la familia. Um, thank you. Y que Dios me los bendiga. All right. All right. All right, everybody. Thanks so much for tuning in again. And we appreciate you. And we look forward to another edition next week here on Mi Gente on Air. Adios. Good night.